Hello, welcome to the Quakes Motel. My name's Conan. In today's video, if you're on the Akai mailing list, you would have received an email this morning. If you're not on the Akai mailing list, you wouldn't have received an email this morning. And I'm going to go through what's on that email. Let's jump in. Okay, before we get into it, I can be a little bit cynical. I'm aware of that. In the UK, I'm called a cog which is cynical old git, not, ju not just me, obviously there's lots of cynical old gits in the UK, but that's what I am, a cynical old git. It's, it's 40 years in the music business, it does it to you. So I'm going to run through what's on the Akai press release, press release, I guess that's what it would be called, and I might be a little bit cynical about it. First things first, I'm not trying to sell you anything, just so you know that, I'm not affiliated with Akai in any way whatsoever, I'm literally going to go through the press release and give you my thoughts on it, and... There may be some speculation in there as well, but it is just purely speculation. I will be objective and I will definitely be subjective. So, as I said a minute ago, let's jump in. So I'm gonna be reading off the screen here in front of me. Now it starts with harness the power. I'm not really sure what that means. Following the highly anticipated launch of MPC3 and Akai Professional's groundbreaking partnership with Native Instruments, we're excited to share key development updates that make, or mark, sorry, a significant step forward for the MPC platform. So I'm gonna run through what they've said here and kind of give my opinion on it. First point, MPC3 OS for standalone will receive highly requested updates in spring. Bit vague, spring, when would that be? Now in the next point, I'm just gonna to jump to that. They say that the firmware update will be rele released later this month. So. That's February. I personally don't consider February to be spring. It's still winter for me. I live in Dubai. In Dubai, we don't really have seasons. We have hot. That's kind of it. But as a, as a hangover from living in the UK for the first 40 years of my life, February is winter. Well, kind of in the UK, every month's winter. But that aside, updates in spring, they say, and then underneath, they say release late this month. So what will it be? We, of course, are hoping that it'll be later this month. And perhaps what they mean is, is that they'll be rolling it out over spring. Maybe that's what they mean. So going back to what they're going to be rolling out in spring or later this month, flexible time signatures. And they've capitalised this like it's a thing, FTS, flexible time signatures. Now, here's where my cynicism is going to creep in slightly. They're going to give us an update, flexible time signatures. It's not really an update, is it? Because we had that in 2.15 already. So they're going to give us back something that we already have in 2.15. Thank you very much, Akai. That's brilliant. I know a lot of people have been asking about it. A lot of people have been mentioning it. Literally every single video I've released since the beta, somebody has mentioned in my comments what flexible time signatures. Flexible time signatures is another weird way of describing it as well. Just, just being able to change the time signature from anything other than 4.4 would be probably a better way of describing it, but they want to put it in a, in, a, in, a, in a thing, so they've called it flexible time signatures. Moving on, wireless expan expansion transfer and enhanced MIDI recording and playback. Now I know there's been a lot of people that have had issues with external synths, etc. so I'm guessing that they're going to address that. They've said user reported challenges with external gear and additional new features that will further elevate the MPC three OS experience. It does sound a little bit management talk to me. It's very, very vague. They've not really committed to anything. They've not said what they're going to address. They've not said what they're going to fix or add. It's very, very vague, which is kind of what this entire email is, just a little bit vague. But I did say I was going to try not to be too cynical. And now here I am, cynical old git. Moving on to the next point, 3.4 Point two firmware update will be released later this month. So there's going to be an update later this month, apparently, delivering important fixes and optimizations to enhance standalone performance. Again, a little bit vague, but you know, uh, sorry, just have to switch to my mouse and move this down. Okay. MP, the, the, now this is big, 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 big stuff now. Breaking news MPC3 desktop software will enter public beta in May. So, by May, or in May rather, they're going to be doing a public beta of the desktop software. Now, I know loads of people have been saying, is, is the software dead, in, dead, finished, gone to the grave? I think, I think most of us, 
well, at least the ones that weren't going to create too much drama, they kind of knew that the desktop software was going to be updated at some point. It's a big undertaking. There's so many variables in computers that, you know, updating software or completely changing the way that the software is, because obviously, you know, with the new GUI, et cetera, the new features in MPC3, there's a lot to update. There's a lot to change. So in all fairness to Akai, uh, the software was going to take longer to do. When you've got your MPC3, just to explain quickly, if you, if you, I'm sure you know this already, but let's just put it into, into a, a nutshell. With your MPCs, your lives, your, your um, ones, your, S, your MPCX, et cetera, there, there are variables, but there's not as many variables. It's a piece of hardware made by Akai, and they've updated the software, but there aren't really many variables involved. You know, there's a couple of different things with the X in terms of RAM and stuff like that, but mostly it's all the same. With computers, PCs and Macs, there are you know, unlimited, not, I can't say unlimited, but there are multiple variables involved. Are people using Windows 7? Some people are still. Uh, Windows 10, Windows 11. With uh, Mac, I mean, I literally don't know what operating system they have because it changes every single week and they have updates every single week which throw people off completely and now they can't use their plugins anymore. Sounds familiar. Um, so there are, there are multiple variables involved in computers, and so the software was always going to take a bit longer. But public beta in May, so <laughs> uh, it's going to be a beta again. So we're going to be trying it out for them, and we're going to be reporting the issues, and hopefully they're going to be fixing them over the course of the year. And I, I can't even speculate how long it'll be before the actual official release is out, but obviously there's going to be issues. Now, the public beta thing is not is not new. Akai is certainly not the only people that do it. Loads of companies do it now. They throw it out there. We experiment. We give the feedback, and then they fix it. That's what's supposed to happen. Moving on, MPK controllers be, will be receiving native instrument NKS integration. That was always going to happen, and including complete 15 select, the Akai... Akai Pro Edition for free later this month. So again, this is going to be later this month. So that's February, if they operate in the same months as I do. Another big announcement, and this is going to be great for some people. Now, I don't cover this because I've never used an, an Akai Force, and it looks they look great. And I get a lot of comments from people saying, you know, when are they going to update? The, the Force operating system. Force users can look forward to a major update entering private beta. I don't know what that means. I guess that means not us. Private beta. So anybody that is on the private beta, specials, special people, if they can comment as soon as they know anything, that would be brilliant. Let us know. Tell the community if you're allowed to, if you've not, you've not signed a non-disclosure agreement, which you would have, but that doesn't seem to bother some people. Let us know what's going on with the Force. But Force users, you've got something to look forward to. There is going to be an update. Integrating MPC features into the platform. One of the most highly requested enhancements from the community. Okay. Again, this is very vague. Force users can look forward to a major update entering private beta this month, integrating MPC features into the platform. What MPC features? That is the vaguest statement in the entire press release. So we don't know. So sorry, Force um, users, you are going to have a major update entering private beta this month, but we can't say what features are going to be entered into the integrated into the platform. So sorry about that. We appreciate the ongoing support and feedback from our dedicated community and look forward to sharing even more exciting updates soon. So this is mostly good. It, it sounds like Akai listening to the community. I'm sorry if that was so cynical, the whole thing. I, I don't mean it to be, you know, look, I'm just having a little bit of fun here. And, you know, I, I want to I want to give a, a, a neutral viewpoint on this release because most of the videos I've seen so far are obviously from people who Akai send gear to. They're um, brand ambassadors, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm not saying that their their videos aren't neutral, but I'm not affiliated with Akai in any way. They don't pay me. They don't send me anything. They probably wouldn't. Uh, so, so I'm going to be honest, you know, and that's what I've done here. It, it, it's it's a it's a bit of a vague press release, um, but it does give us a glimmer of hope, for, certainly for the software users, 
uh, certainly for the Force users. For, for the MPC3 users that have been using it since beta, there is going to be, overall, there's going to be some fixes, and they're going to give us back our time signatures. Thank you, Akai. This is the Quakes Motel. My name's Conan. Until next time.